Okay, now that we've built our model, let me go ahead and stop it. And now at this point, let's look at what it takes to make this model look more realistic. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn this into a 3D animated model that looks more like the system that we want to model. The first point we'll make here is that all of the modeling you've been doing up to this point has actually been in 3D already. It just you, you haven't done anything with the 3D at this point. So what we'll do is we'll go to the View ribbon. And if we select, on pers we select Perspective, the model just changes into 3D Perspective at that point. So the model that we just built was already laid out in a 3D orientation. Now, one of the things we want to do is we want to make our conveyors look more realistic. So to do that, we'll select each conveyor. And then we're going to select what's called a path decorator. And you see we have a couple of pre-built path decorators in here. We're going to select the one that makes it look like a conveyor. When you do that, it changes the path to be drawn like a conveyor. And we'll do that to our all of our conveyors. And just that easily, we, we've been able to change simple polylines into what appear to be conveyors. Now, our other path is really a road. So again, we'll use a path decorator. We'll select our path. And we'll use a path decorator that makes it look like a road. It changes to a road. And then we'll go to our drawing ribbon. And we're going to apply what's called a skin to it. And now the, uh, the path looks like a road with bricks on it. Now these path decorators are things that you can def define your own. And it's a non-programming task. It's all done graphically. So you can build path decorators to create paths that look what like whatever you want them to look like. OK, the next thing we'll do is we'll make our, our server look more realistic. So what we're going to do is take our server, which looks like a box, and we're going to pick a symbol from our standard library. And in this case, we're going to make it look like a drill. So we'll pick the drill press from the library. And now you notice that our rectangle's been replaced by the by the uh, uh, symbol representing the drill. Now, the drill, when parts are being processed on the drill, we'd like them to appear exactly at the location where they would be drilled. So we're going to pick up the queue where things sit when they're in the drill, and we're going to place it exactly where, where we want it. So let's go, first of all, let's go back to the top view. And here is the queue that we're interested in. And we'll drag it over here. We'll line it up. We shorten it first. So now it's lined up from that perspective. And now we'll go back to the perspective view. And we're going to raise it up. So we'll select it and then raise it up. And then let me shorten it some more. Like that. Okay. So now we have our, our server representing the drill. The next thing we want to do is change our vehicle out. By default, we get a vehicle that just looks like a cart with wheels. Now, we could pick a symbol from our standard library, but instead, we're going to select it, and we're going to select Get Symbol, which takes us out to the Google 3D Warehouse. The th th Google 3D Warehouse is a library of 3D symbols that has many hundred thousands of different kind of symbols of everything you can imagine, from machines to people to carts and whatever. And we're going to search that warehouse for a specific symbol. In our case, we're going to pick the Wally symbol from the Disney movie. 
So we'll search for Wally symbols. And as you can see, there's a bunch of 3D Wally symbols that are available to us. So we'll look through here. And uh, we have pages of them. And we'll pick one that we like. And here it is. And so we'll say download that model. Now notice that we haven't left Simeo in doing this. So this is integrated into the Simeo product. Now it's brought the symbol for Wally down, and now we're going to resize it. Still a little big, let's we'll make it a little bit smaller yet. And we have a man here to give us a sense of size. We can also look at it in perspective to see what it looks like. And notice that uh, this arrow pointing forward, right now he's not pointing in the direction we want. So we're going we're gonna to rotate him, and we'll rotate him 90 degrees until he's pointing forward. Once we're happy with him, we'll say OK. And you notice what's happened is the cart that was in our model has now been placed by that symbol that we retrieved from the Google warehouse. Now, this green line here that we're going to position, zoom in, is the queue where objects sit when they're riding on a transporter, in this case, Wally. So what we're going to do is we're going to position that queue to be right between his hands. So let me again go to the top view. line it up between his hands. Back to perspective. And then move it up and down to where it's lined up right where we want it in the hands. So now we've revamped the model with, in terms of the, the server, the transporter. We've changed our paths. Now we're going to do one more thing, which is we're going to just add some static background to it. So let's go to our, our uh, symbols. And we'll place a worker down. And we'll place a worker standing beside the machine. And we'll resize the worker. Then we're going to draw a, a curve along the back here. We'll select that and we'll set the, the height of it. which will in effect turn it into a wall. And then we're also going to apply a skin to it. To give it the appearance of brushed aluminum. So as you can see, very quickly you can, you can add all kinds of, of graphics to the, to the layout. All right, so now that we've changed our model to look realistic in 3D, we can run it again. So we go back to our, our run ribbon, hit the run button, and the model starts running. We see the entities being, you know, sitting on the drill to be processed. We see Wally running back and forth carrying the entities to the sink. We can scroll out here, get a more realistic overview of the whole system. And we can also rotate around it as it's running. So that shows you how quickly you can take a model that you've built and bring 3D life to it uh, by just you know, applying path decorators, importing graphics, and placing objects from the standard library.